Welcome to Church and TV. I'm Hunter. And I'm Maggie. The Hat Day was great. A lot of fun for a great cause. Yes. Our recent Hat Day fundraiser raised over $300 for the Winter Special Olympics. Now here's some important news and announcements coming your way. Tonight is another great set of basketball games in our big and small gyms. You can support the team in person, or you can watch the games from our Trojan TV East YouTube channel. Our live stream crew is working hard to bring you the best coverage of EMS sports. Here's a highlight from Monday night's game coverage. It was a great win over the Titans on Monday night for the Trojans. The game was close with both sides trading blows early. Uh -huh. He gets the rebound on his shot, and he makes up for missing that shot by making his second opportunity. Um, okay, so uh, at the half, the score is 12 for home, 11 for guest. In the second half, the Trojans opened up a large lead over the Titans. Uh, but he passes out to number 11 with a three-point shot, and that was a good miss because it led to a three, three more points for the Trojans, and they're starting to run away with it. The final score was 35 to 19. Great job, Trojans. Time is running out to get a yearbook. The deadline is December 31st, and you can save $12 by buying it ahead. If you wait until the spring, there will be very few copies, and the cost will be $40, so be sure to order it fast so you can have a guaranteed copy. Board games and playing cards are needed. The EMS cafeteria is accepting gently used game donations to occupy students during indoor lunch. If you donate board games or playing cards, please drop them off at the main office. For this week's Classroom Spotlight, Olivia and Katie learned more about the Day of the Dead. For this week's Classroom Spotlight, we've caught up with Ms. Rydell for the Day of the Dead. So the Day of the Dead is a two-day celebration that happens in Mexico and in Central America where instead of being upset or sad or, or really mournful about people dying, they celebrate it. They celebrate people's lives and some people believe that the spirits of their family or their friends who have died come back to spend two days with them. So they prepare um, a lot of food, they prepare decorations and other celebrations so that when the spirits come back they can have um, two nice days together. Mrs. Rydell has prepared food for the celebration of the Day of the Dead. So for the Day of the Dead, there are a couple different typical kinds of foods that are prepared. People usually make a kind of bread called pan de muerto, which is a round loaf that has some dough shapes on the top, kind of like um, bones like a skeleton, and it's flavored with vanilla and sugar. And then people also make um, calaveras de azúcar, which are skulls made out of pure sugar with icing on the top to decorate, because they use a lot of skulls that are colorful to decorate, so it's showing symbols of death, but in more fun and colorful ways so that it's not a sad event. This has been Katie and Olivia reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks, guys. So important dates to mark on your calendars include cookie dough order pickup on December 20th. Please plan for how you'll get your boxes home. For parents, the Your Teen and Technology event will be held December 20th at 6.30 p.m. The discussion will be about internet safety, gadgets for your teens, and home network safety. Wednesday, December 21st at 7.30 a.m., there will be a light breakfast reception for EMS community members to celebrate the gift of literacy in the EMS library. Please join us and check out new books. And holiday be break begins after a full day of school Thursday, December 22nd, and school resumes January 3rd. Eighth graders, you may still apply to go on the 2017 Washington, D.C. trip. Approval will be based upon application, teacher recommendation, grades, and behavior. To apply, visit the announcements tab on our website, the link, where you can find all the details. 
Have you heard about the recent interactive game of life? Here's Belle and Chloe with more information. A new activity hosted by TBA Credit Union was created to help students with money in the future. The Game of Life is an event that will prepare students for um, different decisions they're going to make down the line depending on what career you go into. The purpose of the activity is to give you experience and knowledge of the things you'll have to pay for before it happens. So you're not just getting those bills and saying, oh, I wish I would have known about water and sewage. The students had to be conscious of how much they were spending. Well, I was really impressed by how into it they all were and how conscious of it. Um, we had some students who came back and had to choose maybe a less expensive car because they were overspending a little bit. Um, I worked uh, with the charity group and the kids, um, a lot of them really wanted to donate to more than one charity and some of them were very conscious that they didn't have any money to donate but they wanted to donate their time. So they were really into it and I think um, learned a lot. But a lot of people don't have a home phone because they have a cell phone. And the bundle is kind of expensive. So if you think about it, if you just want internet, a cell phone, and Netflix, you're still better off than getting a bundle. Students enjoyed this activity, but were surprised about the cost of some items. I spent too much on the personal products and on my pets. I thought it was like worth it so you know when you grow up and you know what your parents go through. I thought that I'd give you a pretty accurate um, simulation of like how to balance your profit or um, your income against your uh, monthly expenses. I think it's a fun hands-on way to learn something that instead of just doing a worksheet or sitting in a room to interact with each other, get to talk to each other and kind of brainstorm on what the best decision is. TBA Partners in Education say they want students to be successful in life. I hope that you'll feel more confident with your career choices and know that they're a good decision for you and maybe learn about something that you didn't know was out there. So just introduce you to some different opportunities. This has been Bella and Chloe reporting for Trojan TV. That concludes this episode of Trojan TV. You can follow Trojan TV in the DMC on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter by searching at East DMC. Don't forget to wear your ugly sweaters Friday. Santa and the DMC will be covering the fun. Have a great rest of the week, Trojans. Bye. Bye.